go and get groceries today and it sucks and I don't want to go anywhere because I'm totally lazy and I'm boring. We lost Rachel this week. She can't do hers on Friday. I think you know that already. She's busy. We still need somebody for Wednesdays. So if you know anybody that wants to do it or can do it for Wednesday or try and get on Wendy's butt so that she can join us and do Wednesdays, that would be cool. I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking, Laura is so sweet ass that I want to be a patterner just like her. How can I do it? I will tell you how to be a complete and total patterner just like me. You have to be able to name every magical creature in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. You should probably know what Fantastic Beasts and where to find them actually is before you can name all the magical creatures in it. Yeah. Know what a dummy guys is and the very important thing that is made from it. The types of dragon like uh, the Antipodean opal eye, Peruvian viper tooth. Snidget! You have to have a wand. Probably specifically one that was made for you. You have to have shirts. Potter, Potter, Potter. You have to know what Wizard Rock is. You also have to know what Quidditch Through the Ages is. You have to have read the series, the entire series, at least 12 times, preferably in a row. You have to go to all Harry Potter events in costume. Potter. This is all done and you can't do this part, but if you're a real Potter nerd, you would have had your own theories on and had the whole final book just completely figured out by the time it came out. I had Snape figured out since book two, so there. You have to be such a complete and total Potter nerd that when you go to a brand new gynecologist for the very first time, never met the guy before, and he walks in the room, you realize that he looks exactly like Harry Potter and start to giggle when he examines you. Yeah. True story. Could have been worse, I guess. I don't know how, but it could have been worse. So now you can be a total Potter geek like me. And hopefully you won't laugh at your new gynecologist and have inappropriate thoughts. Anywho, you also have, so, have to have such an obsessive personality that after Potter gets over, you're like so freaked out looking for something else that you search and come across a really fantastic book that you all have to read. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. You have to get it. You've got to read it. It is so magnificently good. There's Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse. You have to get them. The new book is coming out in August, Breaking Dawn. It's the last book in the series. You have to read it. It's so good. I can't even explain to you how good it actually is. It's so good. You have got to read it. So that's my book push for the day. Becky, cute video. I never saw that. I remember a long time ago you guys talking about doing that, but I never got to see it. Now I did. Very cute. You guys didn't let Chris sing. <laughs> you just sat there playing the guitar the whole time. So yeah, I have to go and get groceries today. I'm totally boring today. Thursdays are like a really down day for us because... Steve is finally coming home from his stupid business trip. I'm, ugh. I'm so tired of business trips. Um, so he's going to be home. And uh, I have a wedding to go to this weekend. My nephew is getting married. My nephew. God, I feel so old. Um, well, it's actually not my nephew. It's Jan's son, so it's... Tech, I guess technically a step nephew. That yeah. So um, it's pretty sad when you look forward to going to other people's weddings just to get out. I gotta lose thirty pounds. Thirty pounds is my goal. So um, after Kimmy gets his cast off, I can finally start going back to the gym again. And uh, 
then hopefully I can lose 30 pounds. So now that I've set it on here, I have to do it. And um, so you can get on my butt about getting to the gym or like working out or doing something because my issue is, this is what the trainer told me. My issue is that I have to force myself to eat because even though I am working out and I do work out, um, I'm not taking in enough calories because I only eat like once a day. So um, my body has completely shut off my metabolism because I'm not eating enough and it thinks that I'm starving. So it's saving absolutely everything that it can as fat. So if that's true, I have to force myself to eat breakfast. I am so not a breakfast person. I hate breakfast. I hate it. So typically I wait until like afternoon to eat my first meal, which apparently is still not good because you have to eat like in the morning when you wake up. So I'm trying to force stuff down my throat without making myself throw up and it's difficult. And no matter what I eat, it just makes me want to vomit. So I I don't I don't know what to do there. Um is that it really, I think. Hey Mary, give birth on camera so I can see it. I wanna see it. Share your butt crack with the world. You know we'd love to see it. Especially Becky, I think. <laughs> Challenges. So this is how it works. And yes, I stole this from Three Awesome Girls just because. Because. You take a dice. Get your dice. And then you roll it. And whoever has that day of the week is the one that does the challenge. Challenges may not include, let's see, nudity. Um, nothing dangerous. Nothing that will make anybody throw up, please. <laughs> And nothing that would give away private information because God knows what crazies are out there. Whoever gets my challenge has to talk about their most embarrassing moment, what you did, what it was, what happened. And if you have film of it, even better. <laughs> I gave you an easy one, so you got to do it. Okay, so who's going to get it? 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 Uh, let's see if I can get this. Uh, three. That's Wednesday. Nobody has Wednesday. Okay. Um, try to uh, four. That's me. Can't do my own. Um. Ooh, one. Becky. Okay. Becky, you got the challenge. So, the next one, next Monday, you have to, um, on Monday, you have to talk about your most embarrassing moment. And remember to do your dice next time to get somebody. Threes don't count because they're Wednesday. We don't have anybody for Wednesday. Sixes don't count because that would be Saturday. And you can't do your own. So um, it has to, to be either Mary or Rachel or I. And we have to see you all on video so that you don't cheat. So I will see you next week, and um, Becky, I'm looking forward to yours on Monday. See ya.